Welcome out here, ladies and gentlemen, to this ETF 2L Highlander Nations Cup round one matchup between Italy and Denmark. We'll be playing upward here in a BO3 on maps. Uh, I'm Zagron, joined by Beatrice in the as my co-caster here. How are you doing, Beatrice? Hi, I'm fine. I'm very glad to be in Uncle Dane's TF2 server right now. Yes, uh, the, 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 you know, we have the Danes versus the Italians here for this matchup. Yeah. We're in Uncle Dane's server. <laughs> um, no, but... Yeah. Either way, it should, from what we've been told, it should be, a, you know, a pretty good first round matchup coming out here. You know, as I said earlier, one map, but it will be a BO3, so we'll really get to see how these teams like to play upward, a classic map in TF2 at this point. Yeah, this is, this is like the Highlander map at this point. Like, I don't think anybody can debate that. Maybe Viaduct, but if hi, this is, like, like, when I think of playing Highlander, I think of playing on this map. I feel like a lot of people would agree with that. Yeah, definitely a super iconic map. And because of how well it is known, you know, everyone has, everyone's seen Upward, everyone's played Upward a thousand times. So what I want to see is if these teams, you know, coming together for the Nations Cup will be able to pull out the strategies that they want to in order to execute Upward properly. You know, some of the points, especially third and fourth, get really hard to push, you know, because of the angles that they make you push from. So, you know, we'll see who, when it comes down to it, is able to make those pushes and able to take this first round victory and move on. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not too familiar with these teams' rosters, but I'm seeing some uh some notable players. You know, Z ETF two L like many time world champion Thalash, or not <laughs> ETF two L world champion. I'm tired. Uh, Thalash is unfortunately not on sniper. He's playing scout. And that class sucks. That's the tryhard um, class. They want to take them seriously. Is. Yeah, he's sweating. But Thalash is like the best sniper. Whatever. Yeah, either way. You know, so, a, a, yeah. a few notable names coming in for Denmark. You know, F2, Thalash, Beater. And uh, Italy with a bit less of those. They still definitely have some you know good players on their roster. But, you mm -hmm. know, coming out here, really just going to be looking to see which team is able to come together and push this. Because, you know, Highlander, chaotic game mode. Europeans may not be as familiar with it because it's a lot heavier of a North American thing, you know, as we are from. But... Uh, to really put it in perspective, Highlander is just so much easier for things to go wrong, really, because yeah. there's so many different factors you have to account for. And, you know, uh, the the permanent spy, permanent, you know, engineer makes for a lot of interesting dynamics, especially on payload where engineer is really important. So, yeah, just looking to see which of these teams is more practiced on this will be ready. We do have 18 in the server, so we should be starting shortly. Is there, any, is there anything else you want to talk about? You know, maybe map players, Beatrice? Hmm. Nothing in particular. I'm just oh, Thalash has the pocket pistol. He's uh he's living out his dreams of being an American. Yeah. Uh, not sure about ETF two L whitelists too much. I think they allow a lot of things in Highlander. Uh, I'm not sure if they allow things like uh sniper secondaries like Jurati or um milk on the scout. Either way. Uh, should be interesting to see what uh, what uh, loadouts some of the teams are going to run. Maybe they just want to do some things for fun. You know, Nations Cup. It is definitely a serious tournament, but you know the teams definitely will want to style in the earlier rounds when they know they can. So, you know, we'll have mm -hmm. to see if any of that comes out. It looks like all three of the snipers in the server are not on any of the the fun secondaries like Jurati. So I'm going to assume they're banned. The SMG and some backpacks. Razorback looks to be allowed though, so you know, look for yeah. spies to run that ambassador. Maybe I know ambassador is a lot bigger in Europe than it is in the, uh, North America after the nerfs. Weird. I feel like ambassador still sucks. When are we gonna get the Machina back? Oh please, Just never in this video game. Keep, keep Just... that perma band. <laughs> I'm not, that I goes in the, the vault and it never comes out. <laughs> God. I miss playing Sniper with Machina and Jurati. I'm just <laughs> destroying anybody's chance of having fun. A lot of recent uh, leagues with Sniper unlocks are doing a thing where they're really just banning every Sniper unlock, which I can get behind. That class is too broken. Some of them I feel like it's not... Like it doesn't make sense to ban. Like the Cozy Camper. That one's been allowed for the most part from what I remember. And that one's not too bad. I know it's banned in sevens. I know Fallen I Lord is a big it. user of that in North America. He uses Cozy Camper a lot. Helps with the SBS. Helps with uh, scouting, yeah. pistoling you across the map. Yeah. 
I feel like though, ever since I got nerfed however long ago, it's like not a issue. And Razorback post nerf, I don't think is that bad either. Yeah, it just gets to be a bit annoying when and when the enemy sniper is dominating and the spy can't you know go for that one hit kill. He's got to line up shots. Either it's it's definitely still very doable, but when the sniper plays in his team, it can be harder. Maps like Violent yeah. are a lot more prominent in that, but, you know, uh, two very good snipers coming out here for these teams as well. So, you know, with the Razorback being ran, we'll have to see if the Spies are able to focus them down. If not, you know, that third point becomes a sniper heaven for the defensive, defensive sniper. He has to watch a couple areas, and it's really hard to get him killed. So, you know, if one of the snipers starts popping off, you know, how the teams adjust and start playing around it will be interesting to see as well, as we do see uh, the Italian side writing up right now. Mm -hmm. Europe is tr traditionally, anyway, known for having their sniper players, so this should be exciting. Yeah, definitely. And you know, while we're going over, you know, a bit of the weapon choices, uh, I want to talk about Pyro for a second because ever since the Pyro update, he's been a bit of an interesting case, especially in Highlander. You can run weapons like the Flog now, and it's good. The Flog on times like uh, I see it ran upward fourth by River in North America. You, you know, charge with Scorch Shot and uh, Detonator, you know, either one, and you just get a bunch of flame damage, then you run up into tiles on upward last with the Flog, and it wipes the enemy team out of there. So, you know, a bit of interesting strategies you can do with that. Uh, whether or not these teams are prepared to run it, we'll see. Let's, uh, let's see if they're brave enough. Man up to the challenge of Flog Detonator. That sounds like a very European gimmick to me, so... <laughs> yeah, either way, so... Waiting for the Danish side to ready up here. Uh, another thing we can talk... The, Uncle the Dan is ready. Up. Yeah, there we go. No more rambling about the post-game, either way. Uh, we yeah, we will start this side. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, yeah, we can you know, talk about what we'd expect the teams to kind of do here. The Italian side is starting on offense, you know, as we said. So... Uh, a lot of teams look to run sacks very quickly to try to get something early, whether it's a quick pick on the sniper, uh, a medic force, or a gun sap and kill. And, you know, so the teams like to run sacks differently. You know, there's a bunch of different strategies you can use. But, you know, if, if we see a coordinated sack come out, you have to expect a push coming out right afterwards. Uh, from the defensive side, sometimes you can put crit stickies up and then have your medic run back spawn with a scout. They will not be doing that, though. Normal stickies traps. Uh, so, you know, either way, the offense will come out here and just look to, you know, establish space, get anything they can until the first uber exchange comes out. As we wait for the round to start here a bit, uh, I want to pay close attention to what the spy does on the rollout, because where he positions can a lot of the time tell you what they're going to do. If he positions close, they're going for a pick. If he positions on the gun, they're going for a sap and force. He's playing pretty close. He's on that, uh. Yeah, you gotta wait those the pipes out. Roof above the spawn, yeah. Yeah, so Spy will be walking out here. He gets flashed over the hill. The soldier going for a quick bomb near playground. Gonna get immediately dropped by that scout, and as the Spy goes top left, so. Uncoordinated sack there, really just soldier going in trying to do whatever, maybe distracting for his Spy. Early snipe coming out from Cake here on the demo man as oh. a stab onto, onto the. Italian sniper here, so that'll give him a bit of free reign. That's the one place you don't go as sniper ever. If you don't know where the spy is, he's there. <sighs> Upsetting. Yeah, so that will stall this offensive push for a little bit here as a 20 grams spy for Italy getting ready to go for a gun play. No, he cloaks back away to the side, so. Uh, Cart getting pushed here by the Pyro and Scout, waiting up. Uh, Cake, another snipe onto Ace here. As the high bomb from the Devil Man coming out here, he doesn't get quite far. If the Spy in gets Dr. Phil, uh, but does go down after that. Gun stays up, does not get sapped. Devil Man's bomb was denied, and he will get down to the Pyro. Zenith with a 2k. Uh, Psalno already goes down to the Spy again, so really good hold from the Danish side here early on. This poor sniper, he's hot. I play sniper in Highlander, so I... I feel his pain, I'm watching his cam and I just see him getting just stabbed. I feel it's a damn shame. 
Italian spies jumped up the playground here. Gonna go for that sniper pick. He will find it. So that's gonna be a go uh, go signal for Italy as the soldier jumps up to contest. That gun getting heavily pressure as the scout gets sniped out from Denmark. The Ubers are popped out here. Heavy and Pyro being pushed into this Italian Uber, forcing them back over the hill. Heavy goes down. Spy goes down. Pyro will surf out, going down to the mini at the end. Great play from him to deny that Uber, though. Soldier here fighting the spy will win that one. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't hit the last ambi shot, so a bit unfortunate. The soldier rejumps with his health, gets forced back by that heavy floating him. That heavy defending playground with all of his life right now, and they will hold that point. The gun is still up, and the sniper still up for Denmark defending this. So Italy has not managed to push near successfully yet. So uh, this is a pretty notably a kind of hard hold to break on upward first, but these teams are the uh, Italian team. Is Oh, the spy is in. He's getting the stab. Let's uh, and he gets a stab. Yeah, but or... the gun stays up again, and the sniper stop as well. It's so hard to walk over. Cake just get railing shot after shot. The lash with the cleanup on scout as before he goes down. Cart getting cleared by the soldier right now. Demo man goes down. Engineer goes down, and Pyro look to go down here as well. So, really stalwart defense from the Danish side here. Italy has not managed to find a way in yet. Whether they need to coordinate a bit better with their spy to go at the same time. That gun has never been you know killed yet. They're trying for another mm -hmm. push up. Spy going top left, heavy pushing tracks. Soldier looking for a bomb. He's just gonna get floated again. He falls off the side. Scout jumping up with them. They're looking to pressure the left side here. Gun gets sapped. Here's the pressure from the demo man. This should finally get taken down. It does. Uh, stab onto cake. So no sniper, no gun. Uh, but Toast comes in with two of his own. Spy fighting right now on the engineer. So great plays from both spies. But it looks like the Italian side will collapse properly onto this. The Danish side has wrapped around for the most part. And they will get picked off at the end. You know, Beater goes down. Flash right here fighting the backside. He will get this kill on the soldier and escape, but you know, Italy finally coming out. Three minute twenty time, not the best. You know, very good defense from Denmark to start out here. Mm -hmm. That's so rough. That was like that was they were having such a hard time breaking that first hold. With oh Clues Snow going down to the most predictable sniper angle. But yeah, that was yeah. Uh, definitely you hope to see a better showing out in the next few points for Italy if they wanna have a chance in this fight because that's such a strong first hold from um the danes but they are getting the cart pretty far up for second pretty early which is nice they're not really contesting the hill though they all they really have is uh there's no peeking it Unless, uh... Yeah, and th that is a big thing, is you want to get hill presence early here. Divi has gone down early, but that gun is going to deny a lot of space. Italy doing a thing where you force a lot of your combo into U-turn, and they're getting kind of, you know, herded into there from the different angles. The gun gets saved here for a second, but the soldier is spamming it. He will get killed by the demo man, so, you know, uh, kills coming out, another snipe from Keg onto Ace, that's the the heavy going down. So it looks like Denmark will be able to retake this hill. Beater is up on 100% Uber. Uh, we see God Ares has died recently, so he does not have Uber. He's at 0% just charging now, and Denmark will use that advantage to get presence on this hill. They have their heavy playing U, their demo man playing up around the rock, their pl spies playing combo spy with the Ami. So yeah, that's the European special, but you know, Sniper's back onto that B, that B uh, platform angle. So it's very hard to get him off there. It's, Spy can't get to him. You have to win an SVS or spam him off there. He, he's on the rock now. Italy going for that spam play. They're trying to jump up onto the hill. Great surf out from the Pyro to save his life there. Divi has gone down to a backstab as Plizno gets the snipe onto Cake. Uber will come out here from Beater to try to mitigate the damage. They've put, they're pushing forward, getting kills. They did kill God Ares, so that's an Uber reset on their side. They need to save their medic here. Blizzno gets a snipe onto Toast, that combo spy going down, but they do get their medic out alive, as well as killing the enemy medic, so this will buy them a lot of time here. That was, um... It's like, it started looking really grim for the Danes, but they might be able to pull it back in. There's another, um, the picks are going in their favor. Well, no longer, but it was, uh... Unfortunate that they spy. let their medic die twice. He's killing the spy. Oh, spy? Spy? <laughs> yeah, why? Oh, stab onto the sniper. Beater That's not actually used to Highlander there. You know? Really good opening, actually. Yeah, that sniper pick's gonna do a lot of damage to them. They're gonna uh, at least look to push up on the hill. Spy isn't able to get the return pick. Toast gets put out. 20 grams with another kill onto Divi, the heavy here. So they will get a lot of pressure from that. So, or he is going in again. Will get caught out. Manages to surf out. Uh, until he gets killed by F2. So with that advantage, at least looking to push forward here, get control of the high ground on this and maybe jump around. Gun is up, demo man is up. So they need to make some space here. They're walking their heavy onto the platform. Uber out here from Peter. God Ares has gone down from a flank from Thalash and uh, from the side. So, you know, that will be another Uber reset coming in for the Italian side. This cart has not moved an inch since they got it there the first time a couple minutes ago. This is 
they keep letting their medic like the uh, Italians. I, I keep seeing red and thinking Italian, but that's not correct. Um, they keep, but the Italians keep letting uh, Thalash and like their Ubers get onto their medic, and their medic, it's like they never have Uber ad. It's like every time Beater Ubers in, it's like the first or second pick is always the medic, and it's really hard for them to get anything done with in, when they're in that situation. Sniper yeah, going down for bomb the Italians. Out, Desperation That's bomb it. out here from the side has gotten a lot of work done. They've jumped their soldier and demo man in. They managed to get the gun and a couple of frags, so they will be walking forward here. But they have lost players in the process of that. Medic goes down to a snipe from Cake on the very back, and it will be a reset again for them. You know, they did lose everyone, but they did manage to push the cart out of that initial choke point. Fast play coming in here as the soldier is bombing up. Dr. Phil will go down, shot from Kroix on the pyro shotgun, so... That's a good pick coming in. They'll be able to walk in when they get their respawns. You know, the tally helps them get there a lot faster. We do have Cake watching the sightline, though, with a soldier defending him. So it's hard to push in for them, but they do have the numbers to do it here. And it looks like uh, Denmark, Denmark willing to see the second point here after that really good hold. That bomb, that aggressive play in from Italy has gotten the point. They should do things like that more often, you know. The, the aggressive play mm -hmm. helps them take ground, so that's really good for them to, you know, actually make up this time. Seven and a half is a very, very bad offensive time coming out here. <laughs> There's a lot of... Like, oh. It's weird. Oh my god, 20 grams. He's a genius. He gets the okay. demo and the sniper pick. Sniper having a 20 second respawn, demo having a slightly shorter one. But this is so good for... Um, this is so good for the Italians if they really want to like try and even come close to salvaging their time. Divi and F2 going down kill. low. To heavy bucket, please no, the snipe onto beater, that's the medic pick. All of a sudden, things are coming up all Italy. They've gotten every pick they needed. This cart is getting pushed up the hill non-stop. It's exactly what you want to see. They have Spy bucket closed the off. He will get spotted nah. out here. Looks like the pyro knows where he is, yeah. Yeah, so he will go down here, but, you know... <laughs> Uh, Plizno with another snipe onto Cake. He peaked that angle all alone, so now they're down Sniper. He won't be able to get up into tiles, but this is a really good momentum push coming through. Kreuz with a reflect onto F2 gets that kill, so no Soldier, no Sniper. It's really hard to take ground on this. They will be looking to walk upper with their Heavy and Medic, but 20 grams is waiting there already. He's there early. I don't know, if he manages to get picks here, then this could be huge. One on the Heavy, that's really big, and they're gonna pop Uber in on the Medic here. Sticky's block off the heavy from Italy, and Beater will get out alive, but Tiles is owned already. Snipe on to Dr. Phil by Plizno, so no demo man. They're looking to spam this gun out. It's the last line of defense. It will go down. We do see Italy taking Tiles here aggressively. Their cart still has t people on it, so they're getting their money's worth out of this push. More kills coming in. Uh, Freaky goes down, so no engineer here to set up. Cake doing big work now. Snipes oh. on to the mix. Plizno. Toast another one, following up onto uh, your Eurobo. Uh, but, you know, the damage is really done. They pushed the cart up, and it, uh, if Denmark can't clean up players, they will lose the round here. Unfortunately for them, they will get plenty of kills on cart. 20 grams closing that out with a kill onto Cake. He's doing fantastically here. The scout's edging the cart and s stab onto Devi. So they will get so many kills. Toast coming back in. Both these spies top scoring for their team right now. You know, maybe Six's player is not being quite used to spying Highlander yet, but mm -hmm. either way. So much time. They just rolled the cart all the way from second to the ramp on last in one push. Great play from the Italians to set themselves up with a reason, with a with a manageable time here. You know, I wouldn't say good, but they definitely yeah. have what it takes to make this round winnable. Yeah, that was like, they, it was really impressive how they just were able to work off their picks like so well. And that spy on second just opened this entire. He just like found the one little crack. He's on beater. And he the, forced you. Oh, oh. But the Italians are up. in tiles. They might get wrapped here with not enough people. The Pyro is denying, though. They really need that. If Croix can get the kill on the Medic, he does. <gasps> Great play by him. So he will chase them to spawn. Toast stab onto Eurobo, but 20 grams back onto F2. Plizno snipe onto Dr. Phil, so they will get the heavy on the ramp here. He's pushing the cart and Spy jump stabbing. He gets the kill right before the cart goes over. And that flank play from the heavy and Pyro will help clean up the cart at the end. God Ares goes down to Divi. So... <laughs> It looked like a really good entry, but they just didn't properly focus the targets in post-fight. And, you know, now it's a bit of a chaos hold. Everyone's just everywhere. And whoever's getting the kills is winning. You know, there's not much structure in right now. So the better DM will come out victorious here. Cake, snipe onto Europo and main. And it looks like Denmark will stabilize here. 20 grams gets spotted out. Unfortunately, does not get a kill. Demoman goes down to a sniper again. So with that, they're going to walk back into tiles. The lash gets taken down by Stickies. Divi taken down in main. So as long as they can walk onto cart here, they have a pretty good numbers advantage. Mini sentries are out here for the defense. No level threes to worry about, but that Wrangler is so much to deal with for Ixie. He has to back off. 
Croix drops down, reflecting F2, getting the the shotgun shot. They are on cart right now, but Snipe from Cake blocks it. It's just Ixie right now pushing it in. He gets pushed off by the engineer. <laughs> oh my God, we are into a first pause. <sighs> yeah. This is. Uh, it's, do you have anything it's to say? It's the chaos hole. It's the chaos hole. Yeah. As I said, both these teams are running out here with everything they got. You know, we have a very poetic shot here of the scout into the pit. You know. Imminent doom looking back <laughs> at that cart. He wishes that he didn't jump so the shotgun pushed him off the cliff So right now that cart will roll back when this uh, pause unfreezes it, it, At least full committing here. They're running everyone they have all the time Yeah, and, and really they're just trying to get anyone on the cart they can cake is in a really weird position right here the sniper with his SMG out gonna go Rambo on this demo man, but uh, either way, it looks like Denmark will be able to stabilize. Their heavy and demo man are up, so they'll be able to spam this card instantly. Uh, it looks like their heavy is shooting in the direction of 20 grams, so it looks like he's going to get caught out. So, you know, no spy backstab means the numbers are going to be in Denmark's advantage. And it just looks like the teams are just content to keep running at each other at this point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is like everybody's in a. Everybody's like air raid sign that sirens are going off in their head. That like, oh, we are back. <laughs> oh, the lash immediately flanks, gets the kill on the medic and demo man. The numbers are managed to through. Another pause. Perfect. Twenty grams mind. is dead here, by the way. One HP. That's all you need. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe <laughs> There's this two heavy people misses. looking at him. Yeah, maybe he doesn't hit one of those bullets. Maybe the lash doesn't hit a shot. Who knows? Either way, yeah, what we expected has came true. You know, the defensive numbers advantage has overwhelmed Italy, and they'll have to reset here. Uh, mm -hmm. God Ares, uh, he died, right? So that uh, Uber percentage is deceptive. You know, a bit of a pause bug in TF2. So uh, Denmark will be up. Beater has 55%. So they'll be able to have, you know, about a 65, 70 Uber advantage. And because of all the kills that went over, they will have time to get into upper. The only thing they have to watch out for is Plizno in the window. And as long as Beater doesn't get sniped by that, then they should be keen to look to take tiles back. And, you know, when the defense is able to retake tiles, it's very hard for the offense to reset. They basically have to, they basically lost their progress, basically. They lost their forwarding mm -hmm. positioning into tiles, and they'll have to reset, go for another full uber trade into tiles. And that, that that's the worst. Upward last is such a hard point to take, because it takes multiple pushes to do it, and you can lose all your progress if the team retakes the ground on you. It's not like bad water where you can't actually push out of bad water or you can't actually push out of uh, swift water last. So, in a, in a way, upward is super difficult at this juncture for them. They need to regroup and make sure that they don't fall apart because uh, the clock says 8:41 for three points, and I would assume it's hard to tell because the pause timing, the clock keeps running, but probably like three, four minutes, two, two to four minutes, maybe three, probably average has gone by of gameplay. And this is getting into a bit of an unreasonable time. Right now, they're still just sacking their engineer onto cart, and that will not work out too well for them. <gasps> but, but wait, please, please no, no snipe onto Peter. That's what I said they needed to not do. Another one to Zenith. This is exactly what they need. They have not cleared the sniper out of upper. He's rolling off headshot after headshot, and they will get back in with the help of the teleporter into this last. They're going to push this cart over. That was way faster than I expected it to come out. They really just didn't pay attention to the sniper. They had, like, two minutes of pause to call him out, but... You know, Beater gets sniped off, they lose their pyro, they lose all their health advantages, and then Italy manages to just put it in at the end there. So, the clock says 841 for 4 points. Uh, it said that for 3 earlier, that might have completed, I'm not sure how that works, but if we assume that the, this clock is right, 841 is super good in comparison to what they had after first 2 points. I somewhat don't believe that, honestly. I think it might be a bug. Yeah, I guess we'll there's have no, to... There's no way they pushed last, third and last in a minute and a half, but at the same time, they might have, you know, because of how good yeah, it was, they did it. Yeah, it was... I wouldn't say it's impossible, for sure, given the um, given the stellar push they had, like, all the way through second and all the way up to the ramp. Yeah, but the it's, uh... Say again? How long is it? Yeah, I, I thought yeah. that was a bug, yeah. So, 11.56... Yeah. So, 12 minutes still four and a half minutes is very good for pushing third and fourth if their first and second weren't so bad that would be a very respectable time so they definitely yeah. have a lot to improve on in the next round no matter what 12 minutes is a workable it, it's doable it's just not very likely because mm -hmm. uh, yeah average upward times you know, range from like eight to ten minutes at you know worst so it's definitely a hard time for them to hold but if they can get their stuff together really quickly they can definitely do it early bomb coming in here with the jetpack pyro sack that's an innovation I love. 
Oh, yeah, they very the force. Nice. Yeah, they got the force there from the jetpack pyro coming in main and the soldier over, over the top. So great, great play by them to get that advantage out for their team right now. So they, they really do need, uh, or Italy really needed to hold that because, you know, every Uber at this point matters. It'll buy you a minute, so... Them getting that forced out is really not favorable for them. Plizno with the early snipe with Divi won't matter that much. Heavy's just a card pusher at this point. Plizno getting snipe onto F2, so Soldier won't be able to bomb here. Here's the Uber in, but Kroik's doing a good job of denying it. He buys their team half of that Uber to be safe. So now if they can kite the rest out, you know, with their gun not going down, yeah, Dr. Phil will go down. So great play by Kroik there to deny the Uber early. Toast in the back gets the snipe onto Plizno, but air shot with the Wrangler rockets. Great play by Europo there to keep his gun from getting sapped. Freaky goes down on cart as the Doman looking to spam the Pyro out here. Running at the Medic, the WM1 is too strong, he's gonna burn out if he doesn't get an Extinguish, and he does burn out, so the Medic does go down, the gun goes down afterwards, and what looked really good to start out with gets completely cleaned up. Flash with a 2k, the Pyro running in, getting the Medic, and, you know, minute and a half it took for Denmark to push that point. Ixi going down at the end there, it's Flash, walking forward with his team. Dr. Phil and uh, F2 bombing forward to get this heal control, and they will be able to get it really quickly. That, sorry, I'm still like, that air shot was really funny. Uh, but the, yeah, this is so much better. A much, he much better showing. Oh my god. How? He got, he, he was caught in the, in the upper window by uh, the soldier. So the, bu the buff banner will come out here. Contra actually, and their team wants to walk forward to regain this hill control. They need to do it without losing too many players. Dr. Phil and F2 go down, so they will be able to do it. They have not lost a single player. They lost Engineer, but that was on the gun, I think, to a spy either way. Here, yeah, here's the spy, and he will die. Divi goes down. Beater kills Ixie on that one, so some revenge there. But either way, they do. Uh, Italy manages to retake this hill with that con with that uh, contra push. So great play by them to get this ground back. They, again, they need every second they can buy. Sniper and Demoman set up here. Yeah, the sniper gets the snipe onto Doctor Phil. So very hard for them to walk forward. To the Mex goes down, but shouldn't be that big of a deal as long as they can keep their sniper and Demoman up here. This is uh That was definitely like. If anybody in the server was going to get one kill to save the game, it'd be, uh, that- Oh, night- that was a crazy shot. Oh, please no. Popping off. Little- Nice little 2k. Um, but if anybody in the server was going to get one kill that mattered, it would definitely be that pick onto the medic, because it's absolutely halted the Dane's, uh, ability to push. And now it's even Ubers. They have a gun set up. They're set up on the hill. They have to- Have to break- Try their best to break this defense. Beater using his Uber so early. This is so bad. But they're yeah, getting get a couple kites out. Please not getting backstabbed as well. Ooh, oh, Clue also getting stabbed. So this is a solo onto Kroix, the pyro Uber coming in, looking to kill Divi. That's all they can really get. But they need to get out of there. They're all alone, surrounded by a bunch of enemies. Cake and uh, Toast looking to kind of collapse here. They will. Kate gets a snipe onto the scout pushing out. The medic runs out to his heavy. Slash will run into that brick wall. So, but, you know, that overextension cost them a lot. They had really good advantage there. The enemy medic used Uber early. Look at the, they're trying to hold upward, but the domain's flanking behind. Great pipes from Dr. Phil kill God Aries in spawn. So your medic just went down when you need to get a good third hold. Third is so much more important to hold than second. And they just completely gave it up for that, like, weird spawn hold. I've said, like, on defense, that's so weird. You'd never really see that. These Europeans need to learn how. Oh, Either I'm... way, we still have the heavy here. We'll get taken down. Apparently, they didn't learn. They're losing more players. Beater gets stabbed by 20 grams. 20 grams is trying to do everything he can to his team to have a chance in here, but, you know, they don't have a defense set up. Toast gets the kill on the soldier, so no bucket hold coming in. Divi looking to take full advantage of that, runs into bucket with that Thomas Love. If he can catch someone off guard here, the Demo Man, he will, and he will get that kill. No Demo Man, this is so hard to hold. Dr. Phil walking forward onto this gun. It's the only thing they have defending. It will go down. Divi pushing into that connector area, going up spiral, going down the spiral staircase into lunchbox. The, the same thing that happened to Denmark on defense is happening to Italy. They just got picked off one by one, and now this super oppressive third defense is just gone for both teams. And for Italy, that may be their chances at the game, too. Seven minutes to hold last is so hard. It's definitely not impossible, but it is definitely going to be as really difficult for them. They are going to have a better last defense, though, than... Uh, the Danes did because they were going to be able to get their gun set up and uh, they have positioning and tiles so it's, it's not impossible but it's like improbable <laughs> I just noticed yeah. Toast is on the dead ringer actually yeah he's been running it for a bit feels the need for that run and gun gameplay a bit interesting mm -hmm. uh, like a uh... 
Beatrice said earlier, they have the teleporter upper, right? So the engineer is able to set up the gun upper. Look at where he's... Oh, that's a dispenser? Yeah, that's a dispenser. So he's going to move his gun eventually to upper. And the, the that teleport is super important for a couple of reasons. If you can get your sniper into that window consistently, it's so there's so many harder angles to peek. So it's up to really please know to deny as many angles as he can by his team an advantage for them to have to walk into. Mm -hmm. There's also the... Yeah, this angle right here, the funny angle behind the crates as uh, sniper. That's always a good one. Spy! Oh, he took he the gets teleporter! He backstabbed though! Oh. That's this the is one so... danger of the teleporter. You have to dispense or block it and spawn so the spy can't take it. The sniper gets stabbed. Great entry pick in to the into the last point for Denmark here. They will try to pressure upper, but they do get picked off one by one on that side. Heavy doing a great job of denying space until he goes down from stickies. So. It's a bit makeshift now, but they still have the keys in place. You know, they have the pyro demo mm -hmm. medic up top to deny. Uh, they still have Uber, and their gun is getting rebuilt onto the upper area, and the sniper's back too. So this is mm -hmm. about you know, like a standard last hold, where you don't have the upper advantage, but you still have enough to hold it for a while if you can get the hold off. All is not lost, but it just got a lot harder for the uh, <laughs> Danes if they wanna if they wanna take the win home for the Dome caught here. They need or to the help Italian. He will get back into upper, so that's good for them. Zenith going down to his snipe. Ace was traded off for a heavy shot. Flash running in here. <laughs> Try to force the next Uber, but the dispenser stops it from happening. Dr. Phil now trying. Will not get there. But now the heavy's turn. He does drop. He chooses to drop his pyro. Why? So they do move oh, the double man no. and pirate upper. The one by one sack from Denmark has worked out. They force the Uber out in main. It will be an Uber onto the spy here for the most part. And a bit unfortunate for that one. Cake is set up an upper. He has a snipe angle onto... Onto gods, yes, and he will get that off. Oh, so, that's... great play by Denmark to take Tao's control. Pause in. Another pause. So, oh, um, quick one, though. Yeah, thank but God. But this is looking super good for Denmark here, coming to the last. Did... What is that Uber? It's not the best Uber in the world, but they did get the heavy, and they are getting picks outside of the Uber. Uh, this is definitely looking like this is a, a Danish Ooh, great win here, by kicking Kate, the snipe taking onto out the, the engineer. engineer. Yeah. Yeah. So that, with that, the defense is wiped. Really, the, there's going to be a five stack onto cart for Denmark, and they will take it with time to spare. Four minutes left on the clock. Definitely a very good round from them coming in. Uh, I wouldn't say convincing for the sole purpose of their defense looked so bad on the last two points. That's made up for the fact of their defense on the first two points being extraordinarily good. But at this point, there's there's definitely ways that both teams can take advantage of the other's weaknesses. You know, coming out here. Mm -hmm. Uh, 1 0 for the da Danish team. <laughs> They're complaining about the config in chat. Yeah, unfortunately. It did start up right away. Normally there's a half time, so it must be a cough config. Yeah. Either way, but... so we have a bit of time to talk while they mm -hmm. are fixing the config up. These fools. Um, that definitely was. It... There were like good moments and bad moments from each team. Um, I should we should check out the logs since we have a downtime now while they fix their server. Unfortunately, this is not ESEA, so I cannot go onto the website. But I believe I can look up the lash. Yeah, you know, both teams definitely coming out here. A lot of strength. They played some of the points very well. Uh, questionable decisions on the lot. I have to question the Italians' defense on second in the house. It really just got all their players killed in order, and when all their players got killed, Denmark was able to get forward positioning. You know, that heavy into bucket got very important pressure and made space for his team. That completely lost in the third hold, so both these teams should look and try to figure out what went wrong for their third and fourth defenses. Mostly third, because like literally neither team got a second off of third. The car rolled straight from second to third, which never, never happens with you know more established teams and on uh, upward. And just such a strong defensive choke point for you to hold. But you know, either way, the Den Den Denmark definitely did look like the stronger team coming out here, even if 20 grams and toast top scoring for their teams. So it you know, appears. I'm sorry to cut you off. Yes, there. As our production is saying, there are no logs. The people in chat rip stats. Yeah, unfortunate. Well, I mean, we don't really need stats to talk about what happened. Yeah. You know, 
he, like basically both spies are top scoring their team. So, yeah, the uh, spies like, this... are putting in so much work. These spies are spies are crazy. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Whether or not they're really just that good, or you know, it's a bit of a transition to Highlander. You know, the perma spy having to watch for it. Well, now we have logs yeah. apparently. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Either way, you know. The the spies are all well and great. Uh, the snipers both did very well as well. And when pick classes are doing well, a lot of it comes down to can your combo just not die? And for Italy, like their combo just fell apart at certain points, especially you know second. They they fell apart on first, despite their first looking really good. You know, Croix playing a fantastic game on Pyro right here. Really, he's you know scoring really high on his team as well, playing fantastically to deny these ubers. It's just his combo's not properly playing around it, you know, like they're getting caught out in ways that they shouldn't after he sacrifices himself, or he's getting kills, and then they're not, you know, playing around those kills and damage, so... It's a bit interesting, you never really see a Pyro being this effective in Highlander for his team, because, you know, how short-range the class is in, in isolation, but really good game coming out here from him, really impressed with that. Uh, both demo men are sitting a bit lower on the scoreboard, and, you know, logs might tell a different story with damage. Either way, you know, a bit interesting to come out there. Because, like, I, I feel like the Dome Men have not been very impactful, really, this game. It, it's been yeah. mostly pick classes, Pyro, and uh, Flash's Scout from the Danish side. He's getting a lot of play, uh, picks mm -hmm. in there. Yeah. I feel like you were saying uh, the pick classes were having... I feel like, um, according to... Uh, this is mid-game scoreboard. Yes. Or no, Italy is not winning. Italy lost the I messaged you on Discord. These are not the logs. These are these might, are might logs be pre game logs. The, no, these are uh, scrim logs. Anyway. To clarify for both our viewers and our production, the score is currently one zero in favor of the Danes, in favor of Uncle Dane. Um but these uh I feel like the the uh, Italian sniper, I believe his name is Please No. I feel like he was losing the SVS a lot and that was uh kind of cracking things open for Cake to do some more classic bait. That, we yeah. can never yeah, There was it. resetting the config from what I can tell. Either way, uh, yeah, I feel like SVS wasn't really that prominent in that match compared to how you normally see. You know, both snipers were really mm -hmm. just going down to other things because of how chaotic yeah. the, the rounds were going. Uh, the biggest difference between the teams, though, I want to point out is the, the soldier difference right now. F2, you know, legacy player at this point, is playing super well with Flash in order to help get a bunch of collapse kills, and that's why you know th th their pushes are going so well, is because they're just getting so much damage and flank cleanup coming in. The soldier for the Italian side is currently the bottom of the scoreboard by a long while, and every time I've, I've watched him or I've seen him, he's just died to something. I don't think I've seen him like get an impactful kill once this game. So hey, you I got to pick on that medic. Up. Maybe I mean yeah, and and like he might have gotten some good damage off. But he's really just not having nearly as much of an impact as F2 is. Mm -hmm. And it's just really impressive from the flank of Denmark to really buy their team so much space to work with. It definitely does help that his scout is the Lash. But yeah, yeah. I agree. He is a lot doing of soldiers could do a good lot of work. Scout. <laughs> yeah. Throw me in. Yeah, but he's definitely you know, no slouch either himself. Mm -hmm. For sure. I do have a map restart here to get that config in order. The teams will rejoin up shortly to it. Uh, you know, I, I touched on it earlier, but you know, things to improve on for the teams because you know, 1-0 already, so it's best of three. So Denmark only needs one more round to secure their entry into the next round of the Nations Cup. So what they need to adjust on, really, it's not that much. Just make sure that your third hold, your second back out into third, is good. Because when the teams get better, there's a lot of teams that will abuse you for that. You know. Uh, I know particularly the USA team, you know, no bias or anything, by the way, <laughs> but uh, they, they do have a very strong upward where they like to hard hold third, especially with their, their players. And uh, server died? Mm. Either way, the teams are going to restart here in a second anyway. They have to at that point. So, yeah, we do see them start to join the server. 
So yeah, for, for Denmark, just really look into what you can fix coming out there on those defense backouts. Uh, their offense looked pretty good for the most part. You know, they they got the snowballs they needed to, you know, as did the Italians. But the I was impressed with their uh, first and second pushes. They did a really good sack in to force the Uber. And if they're able to consistently find ways to get advantages on offense, then they can probably go far into the tournament. Um, I spaced out a little bit, but I agree with what I heard. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's fine. It's fine. It's a bit of a different time for you know us North Americans. We're casting yeah. in the afternoon. Normally it's the evening. We're all night people anyway. Yeah, I don't even wake up until four usually. And our production but, is very yeah. tired right now. He's been working tirelessly. Shout Either out way. to yeah. Mitch. Shout out to Thank Mitch. You. I like that this. I like that this European match is being casted by two Americans and produced by an Australian. Yeah. Showing we're really appealing to the, the main viewership either way. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, we better extend the server, guys. The entire team. Yeah, so a bit of an extended break coming here as the teams do join back up. We do have the Danish side fully in, waiting for the Italians now. Maybe they need to re get the connect info if the string changed, as we do see couple of them start to trickle into the server but you know just really waiting for that to come in we've really covered a lot of you know what i wanted to talk about you know the teams both have some good points some weak points and there's definitely a lot to improve on especially for going forward into the tournament pop off players you know definitely keep doing what you're doing there's a couple of players that need to really step it up if they want to make an impact for their team here and you know for the italian side this could be your last match in the tournament you know so really just you know try to play out you know give everything you got for them and, you know, we'll see if they're able to make it a bit closer. It, it seemed a lot closer, like, in watching than on paper. Because, you know, like, the, definitely both teams had a lot of the same problems. But the four-minute time difference at the end says a bit otherwise. So, you know, Denmark definitely probably going to be confident here to fix what they can and roll in to just do the same again. If I had to, if I were a betting person, if I were a betting woman, I'd bet on uh, Denmark being able to take it out or close it out and take the win here but i am a fan of a get an upset so i'm rooting for these italians they make yeah, better food <laughs> <laughs> yeah definitely denmark looking to be the favorites at this point you know we, we like mm -hmm. what we saw for the most part and if they can you know recognize their mistakes i think they'll go very far you know when their players get a bit more used to highlander again this is the first round so maybe not everyone on the same page quite yet but you know they definitely do have the pieces to be a really good team really strong team coming into the later stages of the cup and uh they definitely have the star power there with a lot of their players being you know, prem players high and stuff like that div one but um it should be it should be interesting to see how this team uh, forms as the cup goes on, if they do win. Uh, you know, anything's possible, I suppose. Oh, yeah, they, they have to looking... extend the server. They got it. Oh, they got we it. We have an hour left. Good job. Perfect. I mean, with how long that first offense was from Italy, we might need that hour, but... <laughs> I... God, I hope not. <laughs> yeah. Either way. Uh, yeah, definitely both teams looking to just come out as their strongest. Uh, yeah, we don't really, it's been a very long break between rounds. You know, the break is not normally this real long, so we kind of ran running, running dry. The wells are running dry, things to yeah. talk about, but you know, definitely just nice to be out here. Argon? Uh, woke up a couple hours gone? ago. Yeah, me too. <laughs> How'd you sleep? Slept fine. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad. This is what casts deteriorate into when pauses are super long. This is just a TF2 thing I've found. Any uh, any interesting dreams you want to tell the audience about? I actually did have a really interesting dream, but I Please forgot do it. tell. Oh my god. I have a lot of that's interesting wh dreams. That's why you gotta write them down. See, I do. I actually do. I have a notepad on my phone that I've written a lot of my interesting dreams down in the past. Just this morning I didn't do it for whatever reason. <sighs> Upsetting. I actually also didn't do that this morning, so I guess I can't really blame you. 
But yeah. did you know that you get forget like fifty percent of your dream within the first yeah like, within the first like five minutes yeah it's very quick and then ninety percent is gone in the first ten minutes yeah it's a dreams bit unfortunate weird, for that man. one you gotta do that yeah anyone in chat have any interesting dreams I want to tell us about yeah bit of time filled but you know both teams do finally have a, a nine in the server apiece we have 18 total so we will look to start up here shortly hopefully yeah hopefully getting a bit hard to fill all this downtime but you know just having fun here we do see the ready up from the danish side it is I'm early tournament so you know yeah they moved it yeah it, it is early tournament so you know people are still kind of revving up into that mood He's ready mm -hmm. from the Italians. They're, they're, these teams probably want to get it, get right. Let's to, go. You know, when, when a break is this long, you get antsy. So you kind of want to just get back into the game as soon as possible, come this side. Uh, yeah, knowing, so we will see the Italians on the defense first coming out here. Knowing these players is paused for so long because the Lash had a ghost smoke. Every time I've watched any person on 7 stream their scrims, they take a 5 minute break in between each map, at least because the Lash goes to smoke a cigarette. Classy man at the. I can imagine him on the balcony, mm -hmm. yeah, with his, with his his hat on. Yeah, his head's still on. the mafia still on. boss. You think he does that on land? Like <laughs> in between matches on land, he uh, goes smoke a cigarette. I don't know. I haven't really watched recent TFT lens, so mm. maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. Either way, you know, he, he's definitely played very well. So if that's something that helps him, you know, maybe maybe <laughs> it's a ritual. Maybe break. it's a ritual. Yeah. If he doesn't, he just starts like shaking. <laughs> yeah, just absolutely needs it to play his best TF2. It comes out. Okay, <laughs> we're yeah. playing the video game. Yeah, finally. Uh, it looks like a like a more passive defense out of the uh, Italians on the first map. Their spies playing in a much more passive position and whatnot. Yeah, looking to just walk um, out. Toast gets bumped by the soldier, so he will get. Here's the jetpack sack in from the offense again. He will get spotted out, and he gets denied this time. So the Italians learning from their mistake on that one. Demo man and soldier go down afterwards, so they do not fall prey to the same mistake twice. Really good on them. Uh, no, we got Highlander come out here. Highlander gameplay as Toast has gone back to the defensive spawn to sap that teleporter as evidence of that. So that teleporter will go down. Any kills gotten for the offense are permanent now. Plizno wins the first SRS onto Cake, so that's gonna buy them a bit of time. Another snipe with the Freaky, so no card pushers right now pushing that cart forward. Uh, looks like Denmark is setting up some players on the left side to get a sat going once they have people back up. They wanna try to get player on control again. Toast going in without his team and will go down to that sentry gun early. So unfortunately that another sack coming in. Two great stickies <gasps> from Dr. Phil gets God Aries dropped. Oh, they just didn't see those no. on the dispenser. We see that medigun right there crackling. And that's exactly what Denmark wanted to go in here. That's what the sack they needed. So, you know, once they regroup players, they will look to get out here. No teleport or the teleport is back up actually. So their medic is back right now onto the field. Toast is looking to get a sap on that gun. He's in position. So the push is going to come out here very shortly from Denmark. They're looking to walk over the hill here. We'll have to see who they decide to take in. It looks like their demo man and heavy are kind of edging left side. Cake early snipe onto ace. Playground is now clear. Divi will jump up to take that place on playground. Here comes the Uber in the front. Banner popped in return. But we do see Beater getting air blasted back. Dr. Phil in there. Divi getting a kill onto the gun as Toast kills the demo man in return. Perfect play coming out here from the Danish team to get all the space they need. Toast walking forward with that and beginning a headshot onto Plizno. All the space is cleared. Italy have been effectively wiped. Sorry, I have to alt tab right now. I have to deal with something and That's help. I'll, I'll keep going. Help I love our speaking. dearest. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so uh, the hill ha area has been taken by Denmark early on here. Their soldier will get forced out into a tunnel. So right now they're just looking to fight forward right here. Delman gets popped up and will barely make it out with his life. Uh, 20 grams gets caught up by Divi on the side, so no spy pick coming in. Plizno gets a kill into Zenith. Toast goes down to Ixie and the scout or scout be spy in the back. So. A bit of space bought, a bit of time bought for Italy. Right now, Denmark just waiting to get the card up. They do have times three, and it's coming up here very shortly. So they're going to look to drop down here. Ubers are uh, close to being even, from what I can tell. 
Uh, got Ares up on 100%. They will drop down here with this Uber. Nothing to really pop in so far. Here comes the Pyro Uber on from Croix trying to deny, but he gets dropped. The beam disconnects from him. He will go down early. Uh, Uber coming back out. Ace gets the rest of the flash and trying to push out this team. Gets a kill onto the Pyro, but no more. He does go down, and the cart never stopped moving, so they will get this cap up quick. Soldier goes down at the end, and not a single frag has gone over on the side of Italy. They will get completely forced out of this second point. We'll have to see if they're able to fix their third defense issues, but Denmark looking to say no. They're trying to get as aggressive as they can. xc has gone down to flash and 1v1 on the scout. Spies shooting Ambi from the side. Gets a headshot onto the sniper. Sniper's so low, he has to back up. With that call, they're going to look to push forward up here. No sniper pressure. Dr. Phil looking up here on Kroix, but he's doing a good job denying him. They will have to kind of stop to buy some time for a second. F2 onto that DH trying to get the gun spam, but snipe from Cake takes out Fluo. Gun gets sapped. So that's a lot of open space for them to walk in. F2 trying to walk on that catwalk to get that spam in. Sniper is back out here trying to get some pressure, but it's him and the Engineer, really. The combo isn't out here at all yet. They need to make some time to get their players back. To the mechs falls a soldier on that bucket as the heavy walks out a bit late to reinforce him. Kurt, again, has not stopped moving once. 20 grams, stab onto Beater. That's exactly what they needed, but it looks like that will not be enough to retake third. They'll, they can get their Uber out though. They have an Uber to contest this point. Oh, it will no. get popped Toast. out here onto Kroix and Exa. Yeah, Toast two great kills onto the defense here. And without the collapse is going to come through. Kroix kill onto Zenith. We'll get that up before he dies. But the bomb in trying to get anyone out here. Medic will get sniped from Cake from that Sea Shack area. Great play by him to get that pick out. And here's the cap coming in for them. As, as I was like tapping back in, I was watching Close Nose Cam, and just I was watching that from first person, and he just had so much pressure on him at all times that there was just like nothing he could do, and it just really uh, it really helped the Danes get their forward aggression with like the sniper essentially being a non-factor in the defense, and that uh. And like that pick on to beater was crazy good, but like the um the spy behind the Uber is cake picking that off the engineer. This Look will at really Zenith help the defense. Walking forward at God Ares and Fluo. It's the medic and demo man. Cake is set up in tiles has gotten the kill onto the enemy engineer and sniper. So just like that, the entire defense has kind of been perched off the face of the map right now. Uh, Pyro goes out, Croix alone gets easily cleaned up by the scout. Bomb in from the soldier will get air blasted, makes it out of the pit. Just in time, F2 gets the shot onto him though with the DH crit, and he will get that kill. Zenith goes down, Slash coming in on the flank, trying to get damage down. They have complete and total control of this last. Denmark choking out Italy here into the final seconds, and that'll be a five minute upward push. Massive oh. improvement from the first half. Five minutes is so good. Oh, yeah, blazing time is, coming out. This is going to be very, 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 very difficult for the Italians to get through. It's not impossible, obviously, because it was just done, but they're gonna have to play out of their minds. And their th third hold was such like a crumble. It was just like, like I was saying earlier, the sniper was highly pressured. And then like in when they got the pick on to beater and then they immediately Ubered, and like they dropped two in their uber to a spy and like the engineer got butter knifed it was it was definitely rough but um you know maybe they're maybe they're feeling confident maybe they're, they're ready to uh ready to show these danes that uh they are the superior country yeah, confidence coming through for the danish side though they played that that offense perfectly was snowballing off of every lead they could really get you know five, to get a five minute timer upward the card has to be moving for so much of it in a row and they really just kept walking forward taking kills walking forward great adjustments by them to really make this offense you know as clean as it could be they're looking good here to move on to the next round italians need to pull out something out of a hat to really stop this uh early on we do see 20 grams coming up to that playground area for the italian side uh, does not look like a gun sap will come in. He's looking for a pick. We'll get it onto Divi, and he will get killed out before he get it. But God, Ares got sniped by Cake. You don't bring your medic out before you clear that angle, so your medic has just dropped right now, coming out for the Italian side. So, Beater with full Uber right now, holding every advantage that they could really want. Uh, Mex goes down on the side. And Italy really needs to get the Uber out now. Five minutes, four and a half now. Not a lot of time to work with. They need every second they can get. If they can't get the Uber out, it's looking really grim for them already from the get-go. Beater is sitting on 100% Uber. He's sitting safe, no, um, in this little cubby. And I, like, 
God areas is only on 20%. I don't think that, uh, I don't think they'll be able to cap all the points out. Yeah, they're such... trying for as much dry aggression as they can right now. Uh, they got the soldier on left, the medic walking up with them. Uh, Kroix gets killed, traded for Divi on that side. Here's the Uber in from the defense, trying to get anything they can. Flash on Dr. Phil, the two-man wrecking crew coming through, and they will get God Ares again. So their medic going down, chain dying here before he can even get an Uber off that initial snipe from Cake. So, a bunch of cleanup coming through. Please through, or please know with a consolation snipe on the Cake, but, you know, you just lost your medic again. Beater's gonna be up, you know, 25% advantage. It won't be enough to push off of this time, mate, probably, but... You know, really just every second being bought by the Danish side here. Uh, and, and Italy That's can't buy nice one for their pick. life. Yeah, great pick on to Plizma. They have to dry push. Like, there's not enough time. Italy have to keep putting people in onto cart as much as they can. Or else they won't, you know, a chance to win. And here that comes. They're putting everyone onto the cart. They get a collapse onto Divi. To the Mechs gets a collapse from Playground. Snipe in from Plizno onto Beater will take him out. And that's exactly what the Italian side needed to do. Uh, mm -hmm. It's still a very close shave. But they do manage to take the first point, and if they can snowball this through, we might see this go a bit more. Uh, they will look to get as much hill pressure as they can. Great arrow from God Ares onto Cake there. It's uh, funny, but that is like a great pick. Now they can walk yeah, through, but that... Spy wants oh, to no, stop no, this. No, no, no. Spy onto God Ares. He's not going to turn around. Oh, he... Toast. Uh, uh... Oh, he gets a soldier. That's the worst pick yeah. you can get there. Yeah, that's the but... worst pick you can get there, but it is a pick nonetheless. So. Uh, 20 grams did get a kill onto the demo man, I believe, so that will be a lot of space for them to work with. And they do have pressure onto the second point. They're taking the house. Cake gets headshot on the side. Overhill saves his life, but he has to leave quick. And the Italians have done as we've said. They've snowballed through second. Cake gets killed by a sticky at the end. That's imperative to what they need to do. They have two and a half minutes. Plizno snipe onto Zenith. No pyro to deny their air blood, their Uber around the corner. Spy in 20 grams does not manage to get anything here. But the Italians have to move fast. They need to get this cart times three as much as they can and use the other players to buy space. Right now, the Danish side looking to get as much pressure as they can onto this third point with a heavy in bucket, and he will take out the demo man. They drop the demo on the Uber. They needed to keep him alive. F2 will go down in the bucket area. Cart's still moving, and the Uber will make its way into bucket. But unless they get more frags, they're just going to get collapsed on. Oh, beat kick. Uh, please, no, it's such a nice angle there, but uh, got the spot. counter sniped. This is looking, starting to look grim again for the, the Danes. They had a... Uh, they were doing a really good job at rowing through off their uh, off their Great picks play. and off the uh, dry aggression, but it's uh, they Uber kind of got shut down when they dropped their demo, and uh, it's starting to look grim again for their chances. Yeah, As, you know, they uh, had the, all the makings of a good snowball going, but dropping their mm -hmm. demo man really shut down that push for them, and they lost all pressure they had. They tried to collapse into bucket, didn't work out. They tried getting cart pressure after that, and it looked good, but Toast had a nice decloak on Tagart to get the scout and the engineer. Uh, wise to it a second time, the scout will spy check, but he gets pushed into cake sightline from that, so that cart rolls back down the second hill another time. So more time bought for the Danish side here, as Toast looks to just be a gatekeeper for this cart. Uh, looks like the Italian side is trying to uber through bucket. They get an easy kill onto Divi. No one really watching that and calling it for him, but they need to get more. A minute left means you have no time for a last push. You need to snowball this into third all the way. As they're looking to get people into the connector area, they have control of bucket and drop down. The cart has gotten up that second hill, but great play from Toast getting a couple more frags and stopping that cart from going up the third hill. So despite having the second point or the third point completely taken from that push into connector, they don't have cart time. So now 30 seconds left, they still need to push it all the way from third to fourth, and they need frags as well while they do it. It's it's doable, but it's the most close shave you will ever see if they're able to do it. They have to keep constant pressure on the cart. 25 seconds left. It's going, coming onto the wire. They cannot lose a single player here. Yeah, they were trying to. They were doing a good job at keeping the play the uh, the Danish players in spawn with their demo man and medic. But will it be enough? They're on 70% Uber. It's 30 Uber ad. This is. It looks like it will not be enough. No. As the car, the time's about to time out. Uh, Two seconds it's a, left. A really valiant attempt from the Italians. You know, they tried their best and they had really good snowballs. Uh, how much of that is the Danish side knowing their time and knowing that they're free to back up? But it did look like the Italians were playing really well on that offense command. It looks like both teams, you know, saw their mistakes in the first half and adjusted really well. It's just Denmark put up too much of a blazing pace for the Italians to really match it. And, you know, they did get stronger. You know, it did look a lot more interesting coming out here from both sides offense. But, you know, in the end, Denmark just the better team. Mm -hmm. If Denmark took an extra 30 seconds to push... I think they would. I think the Danes would have been able to to clutch it out, but alas, our uh, 
My prediction came true, and the Danes have won. There are we logs, have logs this, time. this time. Nice. So Exciting. Denmark will be moving on to the next round of the cup. Do we know who their opponent will be yet? Okay. No, we don't. So we do not know yet, but they they will be there in the next round. So they will have a chance to go even further into the tournament. Uh, all props to those guys. They played incredibly well. They fixed their mistakes incredibly well, and they do have a bunch of talent on the team that they can use to go forward when they uh, get a bit more used to playing together as a Highlander unit. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is interesting to see how these teams come together. Oh, I like um. It's like I've kind of obviously we can't really do that with NA because it'd just be like United States versus Canada. But it's it. I always am a fan of uh Nations Cups. I remember a really really long time ago there was um a ESEA NA like All Star where East versus West Coast, which was really interesting. I did enjoy watching that. Maybe, uh, maybe once again. But we do have logs, so time to time to make fun of people. Yeah, if you could link those, I'd appreciate it. Hard for me to <sighs> all tap into a browser. Love to. Yeah, but I definitely agree with you. You know, regional events in really any sport or esport really just really interesting to watch. Because the teams come together that would never come together otherwise, you know, and the talent gets spread out a bit more than you would expect. So it's definitely definitely really fun to watch, you know, what comes together, you know, see really what, what teams can make it, you know, as a team the best. Uh, it would appear that I cannot type a message in this Mumble channel, so you're going to have to get these logs on your own. Yeah, look at those um, real quick if you want to start talking about them. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, it looks like top damage in the server was uh <laughs> the red spy toast. <laughs> Twelve and seven with almost four hundred damage per minute. That's crazy. Next behind him is Doctor Phil and Cake and Divi, which uh makes a little bit more mm -hmm. sense. But uh. This Danish spy, he's he's something. The spies in this game, we were saying earlier, but they uh they definitely got some very clutch picks when they needed it. Um, I got the logs up now. Yeah, to the yeah. to the max. Uh, topping top damaging his team, but going seven and twelve, which uh you know Highlander soldier, it's a uh, kind of hard to have a really like profound impact on the match because there's just so many people and the flank is like it's hard to like really make yourself stand out as a flank player but you know top damage in your team is I'd say that's a decent impact at least yeah one thing um, i would be concerned about is when the top damage is your spy like that's not too strange like it's definitely strange but you know sometimes it happens you know the spy goes off in a game 400 no player breaking 400 dpm is a bit worrying especially uh like your demo man and soldier they really should be up there in dpm especially on a map like upward and i'm wondering mm -hmm. if it's a side effect of how the teams are playing a bit more flank centric or if it's you know just not being used to playing around Highlander yet, where there you know where there's a lot more players to spam and get damage off of. But you know when the tournament gets a bit further and the teams get a bit more cohesive, I would expect the damage numbers to steadily increase to the point of you know demo men should be you know getting between really 500 damage, like minimum at some points in later maps, but yeah, uh, DPM thought, rather. I thought that was a little interesting too. That uh. The top damage in the server was not like a demo man because I would, it's so uncommon to see that ever happen. Like where the the demo man just does, wasn't pumping out damage into the heavy and just all the combo players clumped together. Yeah, something else I want to point out is uh, God Aries only had five hundred less heals overall than Beater, which is actually really impressive coming out for you know all the extra deaths he had. 
Mm -hmm. You know, good on him to keep his healing numbers up, even if he wasn't being positioned or protected properly at some points. Yeah. He also does have the one kill yeah. over uh, over meter. That was actually a, a nice kill too. Yeah, it helped them snowball into second and you know attempt to take third. And it, it, it's definitely a lot closer of a second half than we expect because you know a five minute time is like oh you know game's over you know go next but. They definitely mm -hmm. did a really good job snowballing through, and every kill mattered at that point. And when every kill matters and you drop your demo man in an Uber, that's just a micro mistake that at that point costs you the game. It costs you any chance you have at the game at that point. So, it, like, it, in, it, it's definitely more complex than just, oh, he dropped his demo man. You know, maybe he went ahead before his players were healed. Maybe uh, someone was in the way of the beam, you know, and it's just so many things you can look at and say, you know, X could have gone better for us. And,. Whichever team in these Nations Cups is able to adapt and grow and make sure that those micro mistakes happen as little as possible, they're going to come out on top. They're going to look to go far into the tournament. And it looks like Denmark has a good start out to look to do that. Yeah. But I think on that note, you want to, we should, uh, we can wrap it up here. Any last words, Mitch, before you die? Eh. How about you, Zagron? I know they couldn't hear Mitch because I uh, said the wrong name. Zagron, any last words before you die? Uh, shout out to the boys at RGL. Uh, mm -hmm. Keep my legacy on after I die. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, those guys do a great job casting TF2 and you know producing the leagues and everything, so definitely check them out if you're interested in more competitive TF2. RGL is about to take over everything, it seems, with uh, the death of ESEA. Yeah, rip BSEA. Yeah. yeah, but uh, you know, I think on that note, I don't have anyone to shout out. I don't like anyone. Um, unfortunate. Yeah, I have been Beatrice. This has been Zagro, and uh, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in to this Highlander map. I couldn't think of an adjective to describe it. This uh. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs>